Hello, CD Punk here. A few months ago, well, a year ago, more than a year, a long time ago, I made a CD haul video. CD haul video is just me showing off all the shit I bought. Well, I recently made a new one because I went to America a few months ago on a holiday. And when I came back, I recorded half of this video. And I never put it out. I don't know why. Probably because I'm lazy. So, recently, I bought even more shit. So, I decided to record that as well and just add it on to this. So, you get a bonus video. Two videos in one. Although, it's not just one video. But it's just a really long video. So, this is all the shit that I've bought <laughs> within the last few months. Enjoy! Alright, so first we have Skinny Puppy Sensor. It's just a CD single. Uh, I do enjoy collecting CD singles, because quite often they have remixes on them. And... Don't know if I'll ever actually listen to this, but I love Skinny Puppy, so maybe one day. One day when it's raining and I feel like killing myself. Here we have the sounds of the Smiths. What do they sound like? They sound like this. No, not really. Uh, this is just basically a Greatest Hits album of theirs, and I'm going to cover this out so you don't see my shitty camera setup. It's just my phone on a stick. Yes. Moving on. Here we have The Bravery. I've been looking for this CD for a while. I know I could just buy it online for a dollar, but I didn't want to. So I found it in a shop, and then I found their second album, also in another shop. This one is actually a promo CD of their second album. See, because it has a little promo sticker for promotional use only. And another dead giveaway is that it has a whole punch out on the barcode. That usually means that it is a promo copy. See, bravery. Don't know why I pointed at that. Don't know why I pointed at that. But here I also found the third album. I assume it's their third album. I don't know. It's only a dollar. The band broke up now. So I think I pretty much obtained their entire discography in a day. It's quite the achievement, I think. I've been looking for this one too. It's not hard to find, once again, but I wanted to buy it in the shop because I like this album. Uh, it's their last album with Fergie. It's got a pretty few dank hits. A pretty few, yes, great English. Here we got Fergie. This is her second solo album, Double Duchess. I basically bought this only for MILF money because I think that's a great track. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What else? Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, Lizzo. I do like Lizzo. This is a pretty damn good album, actually. I, I quite enjoy it. So I found it in the shop. I was like, you know what? I want it. I actually had it on my list of CDs to buy. I do have a list, believe it or not. How pathetic is that? I have a list of CDs I want to get. Here we have Atticus. This is just basically like pop punk time capsule from 2002. Look at all that pop punk. So much pop punk. Like, like I'm just thinking about my ex just looking at that CD. Okay, here we have American Hi-Fi. You only know one song by them. I only know one song by them, but I bought the CD. You know why? I'll show you why. Because I already had an American Hi-Fi guitar pick. I used to get massages from one of their roadies. As fucked up as that sounds. I might explain that one day. So I guess Jamie Zen is one of the guitarists. I don't know which one he is. I think he's, I think he's that one. Or maybe that one. This one? I have no fucking clue. No idea. Couldn't name a single one of them. I already forgot the name on the pick. But I'm going to put it back in here so I can completely forget about it and never see it again. And I still haven't to this day. So here we have Good Charlotte. This is their original cover art for the their first debut album. Uh, they had to remake it. See, here's the remake version. See, it even says new artwork because one of the members left. So then it became a four piece band. So then they had to remake the whole fucking album cover. How dick is that? Anyway, so I found it for a dollar. The only reason I bought it was because I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that it's pretty rare now. So here we got Len. You only know one song. I only know one song. It's a good song. I like the song. There might be something else good on here. I don't know. 
Maybe not, since we haven't heard of them since. But we'll find out together. Actually, we won't. Here we have Lou Reed. This was another CD on my uh, to buy list. Yeah, try not to look at that. Oh dear. Here we got Billie Eilish uh, EP, the one that came out before the, well, the newest album. I've heard some of the songs on here already. Uh, they were pretty good. I quite enjoy them, because I do like Billie Eilish. Here we have Jeff Goldblum. This is his first album. I really like it. It's like jazz and other jazzy stuff. It's, it's Jeff! How can you turn down Jeff? It's Jeff Goldblum, everyone. I mean, if you hate Jeff Goldblum, then you're just an asshole. Who doesn't like Jeff Goldblum? I mean, look at that smile. Just look at him. Look at him, he's melting there, and it looks kind of like Max Headroom for some reason. There's his hands pushing away on those keys, and there's, has his arm up saying, no photography, please. That's exactly what he was saying. Don't believe me? I don't care. So I'm just going to shove this back in here. Nice and slow. Click it in place. Give it a little rub. And then a kiss. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And we're going to move on. Okay, I am really pissed off about this. I've been looking for this album. Couldn't find it anywhere, so I decided to just buy it online. So, But look at this. It fucking broke! It broke in the mail! And look how they sent it. They sent it to me in this. This little... This thin-ass bag. Condoms are thicker than this. They might as well have just sent it to me in a condom. It would have been... It would have been safer than what they sent it to me in. Whatever. At least I got the CD. The CD itself is in good shape, but the case is fucked. Here we got Britney Jean. This was the only Britney Spears CD I did not have. I have her entire discography now, which I should feel embarrassed about, but I don't. Not at all. Silence. Here we got another Britney Spears thing. I did not pay $7 for this. There was another sticker on top that said it was only like a dollar. But look, if you peel this one off too, it leaves the sticker residue. So I don't want to do that. So I'll just leave it there. So it looks like I paid 7 but I didn't. I didn't. I actually really only bought this CD because it has the track 3 on it. I can't believe it's a greatest hits album and it doesn't have the song Lucky. What the fuck were they smoking? Absolutely crazy. What else have we got? We got another Britney! I forgot about this. I had to buy this CD again. Well, I didn't have to. Nobody forced me. But the original copy that I have, um, it's the deluxe edition. And some of the songs, when you put it in a CD player, they don't work in the middle of the album. So some of those songs are my favorites. This is probably my favorite Britney Spears album, by the way. Not that any of you care. Um, if you're wondering how the fuck do I like Britney Spears, I would recommend listening to that album. And you might... Well, you'll probably still hate it anyway. This is The Violent Femmes. This is their last album, Hotel Last Resort. Um, I've listened to this album. I, I love The Violent Femmes. Disclaimer here. I love The Violent Femmes. But this album, I think, is absolutely horrible. I was deeply ashamed. Well, not ashamed, but I was very disappointed. Extremely disappointed. Their last album before this, uh, We Can Do Anything in 2016. That was a great album. And I really hate how these CDs are made. Look at this. Stands up like a book. You can't close it. It's just so awkward. I'd rather have the plastic. Plastic CDs. Now here you got the new Blink-182 album, Nine. Nine! It's uh, German for no. I'm just joking. Well, nine is German for no. But that's not what it's named after. You know, I'm, I'm pretty upset about the lack of... Um... I'll show you in a bit, I think. I don't know how I show this. Here we got the cassette for CD. Cassette for CD? <laughs> well, the cassette version of the album. Uh, because I like cassettes. I actually have two of these, but one of them did not show up in the post. So uh, I told them, hey, you forgot a CD. I forgot a cassette. And they were like, oops, we fucked up. And then they mailed it out like the next day. And I got it in like two days. So you don't need to see the other one. It's just wrapped up in cellophane. So imagine two of these. But no, no, look, I'll show you here. What I'm really disappointed in is the quality of album packaging these days. Like, I'll go back to it now. See, look at this. You know, if you open up an older Blink album, it shows you the lyrics. It could fold out into, like, a big poster. 
I get this fucking thing out? Nope, not happening. Let me show you a trick here, kids. If you open it up and pull it out this way, you don't have to worry about bending the paper and folding it and stuff. Anyway, look at this. If you look at it, they don't tell you the lyrics. They just give you all of the the legal jargon. Who owns it, who programmed it. It gives you a little thingy here in the middle. Alright, that's, that's cool, I guess. But no lyrics? Come on, put some effort into it, please. So, that's my opened copy. That's right, opened copy. I have a closed copy, too, because I'm sick. That's why. That's why. No, this is the American version that actually came with a patch. Now, there were several stores in the United States that upon release of the album, you could find a copy of it that came with a patch. Just a glue-on patch. So I bought one of those as well. Comes with a bit of cardboard. And then, of course, the patch. Ah, look at that. It's got a little line here. Big, thick bit of glue, but... If you just iron it on, you shouldn't have any issues. What the hell happened here? I don't know. It's not like I'm actually going to use this patch. It's just going to stay wrapped up in plastic. For the rest of my life, anyway. Isn't that sad? Yeah, it is. I know. Here we got Poppy. I looked in so many places for this CD. Honestly, I did. It was hard to find. I mean, I could have bought it online, but I wanted to look for it in the shop. And I found it in, like, the last place I looked. Of course, it was the last place I looked. I wouldn't keep looking if I found it. Why would you? It doesn't matter. It comes with, like, a little folder. Well, not a folder. It comes with a poster thingy. I'll fold it up. And it's pretty cool. Why am I taking so long? Oh, okay, this is why. This is probably the... Well, this is the most expensive CD I've ever purchased in my life. You can't find this CD anywhere. I found one copy available online. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it, because I myself am ashamed. I'm, I'll probably make a video showing you the most expensive CDs I have, and this is definitely number one. So I've already ruined that video that I plan on the future. But I'm really happy I bought it anyway. Uh, it's a great album. I enjoy it a lot. I do like Poppy. I don't know if you do. You probably don't. You know, I actually haven't even spoken about Poppy on this channel yet, have I? Hmm, no I haven't. Anyway, it comes with this little... It comes with a big infl... not inflatable. It comes with a foldable hat. This big bit of paper, if you unfold it... And there's a photo, Poppy. See, see how it says fold? If you follow the steps, it turns into a big-ass hat. Like the hat that she's wearing. I'm not gonna do that, because that would absolutely ruin it, and... What am I going to do? Wear a fucking paper hat the rest of my life? No. So here's a pile that I bought in the States. With exclusion of... Well, like, exclusion? Exemption of, like, one or two that I bought online. But wait, there's more! There's more shit I bought online. I bought Crystal Castles because I couldn't find it in a shop over there. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to wait anymore. So I bought it online. I think it only spent... I only spent, like, a pound. That included... There was no shipping! That's a great thing about living in the UK. There's, like, no shipping prices. For the most part, anyway. What's next? Simple Creatures, the new EP. I think it's a really, really great EP. I'm, I'm really impressed with uh, Simple Creatures, but then again, I shouldn't be. If you don't know anything about Simple Creatures, it's uh, Mark Hoppus's new side project. It sounds absolutely nothing like Blink-182. I also got the cassette tape for it as well, uh, because why not? I think it's cool. I like cassettes. I like simple creatures. The two go together like peanut butter and jelly and socks and shoes and fish and ham and fish and ham. Anyway, I found this at a charity shop. I only spent 5p on it. That's right. It's like two cassette tapes of club music from 1995. So... I mean, I've spent five pence on it. That's absolutely nothing. Two cassettes. The... The actual, uh, paper bit, the insert of this is absolutely disgusting. It looks like it was... Well, it looks like... It 
I don't know. I'm hoping that's water damage. That's, that's all I can say. I'll take better care of it, let's just say that, okay? Cut this part out. I'm definitely gonna cut this part out. Note to self, please remember to cut this part out. 30 massive dents. Yes, this needs to be cut out. Alright, cut to here. No, here. No, here. Here, okay. Here we got Perry Como. I found this as well in a charity shop. I spent about 50, no, not even 50p, like 20 pence on it. I basically only bought it for magic moments and don't let the stars get in your eyes and let the moon break your heart. Love blooms at night. A day night it does, it does, it does, it does, it does, it does. So keep your heart from me for some day I'll return and you know you're the only one I'll ever love. The, 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 the artwork on the CD is just absolutely horrible. You can tell no effort went into it whatsoever. Why am I opening this? You guys want to see a picture of an old man? Well, here you go. Look, you can see his name and print and read about him. He was a singer, he got old and died. That's that's that story summed up there for you. I just saved you a bit of time. What's next? I've honestly forgotten. Oh yeah, so let me show you this. It, this did come with a poster, although that's not it. That was the lyric book, remember? Because they have lyrics. They used to care about them. So this one has a little mini poster in it. Pretty cool. I will show you the poster now. Well, this bit here. No, this one here. This is the poster. Uh, I should probably zoom out for this, huh? There we go. Isn't that better? Now you can see, in all its glory, a folded piece of paper. But I like this side better. This? This is art. God damn it. Absolute art. I think I'll frame that bit. Put it on my wall. But wait, there's more. That's right. I found more shit at the charity shop. I found Blink's... Oh, I forgot what number album this is, but one of their albums. <sighs> I know you might be asking, why do I buy this? I have four already. Well, this one is a little different. Believe it or not. You see, all of these have different things on them, which is quite weird. This one, it says, has Time to Break Up and Man Overboard, the music video, as the bonus tracks. Now, this one, the one I just bought has ex two exclusive bonus tracks. Oh my goody! But it doesn't tell you what they are. The album looks exactly the same. It doesn't tell you on the back of the CD what songs they are. So you're fucked, you have no clue. I mean, I only spent 50 pence on that, so it's not a big deal. I also found this. Uh, I think this is Korn's first album. I don't really know their discography that well. I used to like Korn, so I found these for our Literally 25 pence each. So 50 pence for both of these. Not a bad deal. And then I found this. Paris Hilton. Yes, really. There are a few okay songs on here. I wouldn't pay full price for this. You know, back in 2006 when this came out, I would not spend $16 on this. But I spent, you know, a pound on it. It's not bad. I think I might be the only person in the world that has ever purchased these two CDs on the same day. I might be the only person who actually owns these two CDs in the entire world. I don't think any CD collection has both of these. They don't really go hand in hand, do they? Here we have an exclusive tour edition that I also found at the charity shop for like 20 pence. Insane! Now this comes with a DVD, with music videos, behind the scenes videos and stuff. So look, a DV, it's no CD, and then a Dervidur. Now I actually, believe it or not, although I know you will, I already had it, but I found it at the shop. I mean, that's exciting. I mean, I might give it away, but probably not because I'm a hoarder, but in case I ever do, it's, it's there to be given away. And then I found my chemical romance as well at the thrift charity shop for pennies. It has sun damage on the back, but at least the CD itself is a fucking mess. It's broken as well, but the CD is okay. The case is fucked, but the CD is fine. That's all that matters. And here we are. 
in the future, 2020. Post-COVID, although we're not really post, we're still going through it. Anyway, here's Taco. I've been looking for this CD for a long time. It's not hard to find. It just costs money. But I bought it. And I'm really happy that I did. Did it change my life? No. But it took up space on my shelf. Here is Poppy, the new Poppy album. I have two of them. I ordered one in the post, and the other one I bought in the store. I don't know why I bought two. I like having two of things, because I'm sick. But uh, I really love this album. It's so good. Highly recommend it. And what's cool about it is it comes with this, a bit of paper. No, not that. It comes with this, a Poppy sticker. Now, it looks like it has a misprint, but no, it's not misprint. See, look, the sticker peels off here. So it's not fucked up. I thought it was fucked up when I first got it. I was like, oh, no, a misprint. But no, it's not a misprint. It's just a sticker. Anyway, so we'll put that in there so that I'll never see it again. Or I'll put it on something fancy one day. Like my wife. I don't know. Anyway, what else is there? What else did I get? I forgot. Oh, I got this. Men I Trust. They're pretty cool. It's like very chill, alternative music. Although they have way too many songs on here. Too many for its own good. But I will point out the best tracks. The best ones being... Uh, numb, which is how I usually feel. Seven, which is how old I am mentally. And... Show Me How, which was right underneath that. I didn't point at it for some reason, but that's the best song on there, I think. Listen to Show Me How, and maybe you like the rest. Yes. What what CD Hall video is not complete without a Nine Inch Nails edition? So here we have the single for capital G. This is for promotional use only. So they probably threw these at radio DJs from planes. Thousands of radio DJs died that year, but luckily we have CDs now because of it, so that's good. I like that. I like CDs. Uh, mm, I feel warm and fuzzy inside just thinking about CDs and just rubbing them on my body and balancing them on my nipples. Here we go. Here we have the Beach Boys, and I already had this. I still have it. I don't know why I said had. Uh, I have the 50th anniversary, although it's still sealed. Two discs, though I don't want to open it. I feel like it's too special to open. I don't think they even make these anymore because it's no longer the 50th anniversary. So I bought another copy. This one has both stereo and mono on it. Like the first 13 tracks are in mono, and then after that, 15 through 27 are in stereo. Kind of weird, but eh, it works. And then I actually bought Pet Sounds on cassette. Now you might think I like changed the casing for this. I didn't. But the casing was very poor when I bought it. So I just rubbed off the letters. Like if you look really closely, you could see like ghost letters. So you could kind of see the words in there. It's in there. I just took a wipe to it and just wiped it off. Yeah, I think it looks cooler like this because the case was horrible condition when I got it and actually still had the little black plastic inlay things in it and I just ripped them out because I'm a destructive little bastard but I think it looks cool like this I, I like it I like it a lot so as many of you little monsters may know Lady Gaga came out with a new CD recently Chromatica and yeah I mean, I'm sure we'll talk about the album later, but it's okay. It's all right. Not her best work, no. But not her worst, either. Uh, it also came with cassettes. And I, I just bought the CD, but it came with cassettes anyway. It was like a little package thing. It came with this disgusting dark green one. This nice see-through green one. And then it came with this. <gasps> they gypped me. It didn't come with one. Uh, no, no, no. Just kidding. Just kidding. It came with this pink one. I was listening to it. That's why it's in the cassette player. I liked this one, so I had to use it. And this is my cassette player in which I've been listening to music. Now, shortly I'm going to come out with a video. Uh, you'll find the link up here if the video is out yet. If it's not out yet, 
then me pointing up in the corner was pointless. No pun intended, although it was a point, pointing. Anyway, um, she had been signing some of these CDs, and some of them looked really good. Well, you could tell she got tired along the way, and you could tell that she got really fucking tired when she signed mine, because look at this. What the fuck is that? That's embarrassing, really. I mean, I'd rather not even get a signed copy. <laughs> oh, man. That's really bad. I mean, like, if you're gonna sign them, go all out. Don't just make a fucking line. Anyway, here we have first date. Got this recently. CD single. Now, what's really weird, it has the Rock Show music video on there. I have no idea why. You'd think it would have the first date video on it, right? Why would they have a video for another one? So, I wonder if the Rock Show single has it. If it has the first date video, that'd be fucking weird. Nope, it has the Rock Show. Don't know that. Don't know what they were thinking. Probably weren't. Oh, wait, no. They were thinking about getting money. That's, that's probably what it was. Probably the video didn't even come out yet by the time that was out. Anyway, I also got this. Man Overboard single. This is the single for Man Overboard from the Mark, Tom, and Travis Show live album. It also has 13 Miles. And Words of Wisdom, which is just them talking for 10 minutes. Which is nice. <laughs> All the on-stage in-between song banter. Those classic Blink-182 one-liners. Uh, which is just filth, mostly. So, what else do we have here? Oh yes, my cassette player. Don't know why I'm pointing this out. Oh yes, because... Uh, well, basically, I bought a bunch of cassettes. So, I'm going to show you some of them now. Here we have Changes by David Bowie. This is a Greatest Hits CD, well, tape, that came out in 1990. So all of his bangers and bops up until that point all on that one cassette. Although not all of them, just some. Here we have Violent Femmes 3, which is actually their fourth album, but for some reason they called it 3. Now this case is so small. Look at it. Look at it compared to that one. It's like barely smaller. I'll show you from this angle. It's still smaller. I'll show you this side. See that it's smaller? See? Smaller there. Smaller here. Smaller at this angle too. And it's really noticeable when you do Pac-Man mouth. See, it's very small. Anyway, what else do we have here? What else, what else, what else? Alanis Morissette. I think I've already had this. I don't remember when I bought this. But I only just recently started listening to it. So, it's basically like just getting it, isn't it? it counts in my book as just getting it. Got the Clockwork Orange soundtrack on tape. I already had it on cassette. But I wanted it on tape. Right now what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a stupid little challenge that I've challenged myself to. Uh, it's blue. I'm only listening to cassette tapes for 30, for a whole month. Nothing else. No, no iTunes, no CDs. So that's why I've been buying all these cassettes. But the real creme de la creme is this. This is probably well, one of the... The Holy Grails in my collection. This is the Billie Eilish album. Uh, when We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? On cassette. But it's this neon green cassette. Now I challenge you to look for a copy of this online. I challenge you. You'll find one that's expensive. I got this pretty expensive too. But the one that's online right now is broken. It's like cracked. And yeah, I got this. I wanted to listen to it since I'm only listening to cassettes for a month, but it's still wrapped up and I don't want to open it because it's rare and I don't know why. And ah, I'll just wait till the month's over and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just yet yeah, smash it, smash it to bits because it cost me a stupid amount of money. But there's more. I found the greatest hits of Blink on a PSP. <laughs> Remember when PSP had DVDs and stuff? Well, they also had this, the Blink-182 DVD. 
for the PSP. So it's all the music videos up until the point when they broke up on a PSP thing. But there's more. There is more. We have the Will I Am album. Now, I'm not too big of a fan of this album. I only got it because it has Scream and Shout featuring Britney Spears, which you've already found out I enjoy. I finally got this. I don't think I've ever even properly listened to the album in general. So that's why I bought it on CD. If I own it, I'm more likely to listen to it. We've got the flaming lips, only cost me a pound. It's kind of broken. Get the thing, the tray, does it? Oh no, the tray's not broken. Never mind. Oh, wait. Found a bit of plastic. I'm gonna put this on my desk so I don't forget about it because with my luck a cat will eat it and die and I don't want that to happen. I also found Radioactivity by Kraftwerk only for a pound. I think I found this at sex and I got this not for a pound. This was a little bit more expensive but not that much. I think it was like seven pounds. It's really nice brand new. And I love this one. It's probably my favorite Kraftwerk album. And yes, very nice condition. Very nice. What else did I get? My god, it never stops, does it? We also got Kesha. The new album. It's a pretty good album. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoy Kesha. I like Kesha a lot. Um, although I do think she swears quite a bit too much on this album. Too much for my liking. But I still like it. I forgot about that forgot about that. I should probably do something with it before I choke on it. Before I choke and die. There actually are a few more things that I got. Uh, I forgot to show you in this video. So you can look at them there. Uh, it's pretty much just three things. What is it? Um, it's, it's a pop punk compilation album. It's three CDs in one. There's also Crystal Castles. I think that's their second or third album. I don't remember. And then we got the Post Malone album. What's that called? Like Bleeding Hollywood? Hollywood Bleeding? or Holly be bleeding in my hood? I, I don't remember. But I like that album too. I think it's really good. Now, recently I started a little project. I started my own clothing brand. <laughs> yes, really. I started a brand called Hard to Pop. It is a mix of... Well, all, all types of alternative fashion. So there's goth, there's grunge, emo and scene. And there's also some Nine Inch Nails related clothing. Like this lovely Trent is God shirt. Or this Reznor and Ross for President shirt. 2020. But yes, a lot of the clothes are happy, poppy, goth type of style. Uh, a lot of satanic references and what not but i think you'll enjoy it i enjoy it and i really enjoy designing all these clothes so i hope you'll check out the shop and maybe you'll find a shirt that you like if you purchase a shirt you'll help me buy food so that'll be nice won't it i like food i like sustaining nutrients in order to live it's quite enjoyable anyway thank you all so much for watching the video i hope you had fun i had fun i think if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, please fuck off. Thank you and bye for now.